should like adjust adjust you down. Wow, it's been, well, what, what day is today? Let's start there. Today is Wednesday. We just got back from our Disney cruise Monday evening. So we're still in that like getting back to like normal life phase where I have tons of laundry to do. I need to unpack, I still haven't unpacked. Um, really I need to unpack the girl's suitcase because a lot of the stuff they need day to day is in there. But I just finished filming a video that is up if you're seeing this, it's the drugstore dupes video where the drugstore products are better than the high-end product. I'm very proud of it. Definitely go give it a, give it a watch. I'll put the link below, but um, just finished that. And I'm at that point of the afternoon where I have a very little bit of time before the girls come back and I can't go into our office because Tyler's in a meeting. So I'm like, oh, so I think I might work out because I'm thinking of every excuse not to, but I know if I do, it just elevates my mood the rest of the evening. And so, and it's just too early. I was gonna prep dinner or something. I'm like, it's too early for that. So I'm gonna stop making excuses. I'm gonna go change. And I wanted to go on a run outside, but the air quality alert, um, the air's not great outside right now. And with my allergies on top of it all, I was like, probably not a good day to go try to run outside. So I think I'm gonna go run on the treadmill downstairs. Um, I shared the other day on my Instagram, a workout I did, and I might share it more often, but I got a lot of questions like, wh where was this workout? And it's on the Peloton app. So it's an app you do pay for. Um, I would bet they have a trial. I don't know. It's been a while. I've been using it for a while because the treadmill we have is the Peloton tread. <sighs> that was a huge expense but I have never run on the treadmill more <laughs> than since we got that. And that is very exciting to me because I hate running on the treadmill. Like I'd much rather be outside, but in the winters, it's not an option on super hot days or super allergy days. It's not an option. So for me, it's been a game changer, but they also like the Peloton app has other workouts like yoga, strength training. I like to do their boot camps where it's like their tread boot camp. So it's treadmill and like other strength training type stuff and you go back and forth so you never get bored and listen that is genius because if you've ever just run on a treadmill you're bored like i could probably physically keep going but i am so bored of doing it that it's just that's what makes it hard to me i mean depending if i'm going really fast it's also just physically hard but you know what i'm saying i feel like i'm talking in circles i'm clearly just dilly dallying <laughs> i'm gonna go get changed i did want to say this video is kindly sponsored by thrive market we will do a whole haul with some stuff that i just recently got from them we ran out of some staples and i'm we're trying some new stuff of course so very excited to talk about that later but for now i'm gonna go get changed and we're actually working. <sighs> my running shoes are in the washer <laughs> I have the Hoka ones I can link below and I love them. They got, um, well, quick story time on the cruise. We were on Disney's private island, which is called Castaway Key. It was raining. Before we got off the ship, it wasn't raining and I was gonna run the Castaway Key 5K. So I was dressed to run and then I just had like my swim stuff in the bag. Well, we're getting off the ship. It starts pouring down rain. She, my Hoka's or what I was wearing are drenched. Um, so anyway, we got home and they were just all, I never got to run the 5k by the way, maybe next time. Um, anyway, long story short, they're wet. They're now in the washer. I keep forgetting it to like get them out so they can dry. So I'm like, well, I don't want to run in other shoes that I'm not comfortable in. So now what to do? But I've just got this Nike sports bra I got from like an outlet mall. <laughs> and then these like not wildly flattering leggings they are actually Lululemon, but I got them on clearance because they're kind of a weird length and an interesting print. I don't love them, but they're perfect for running because they don't ride up or anything, but they are from the Align line, which I do love. Why do I have like granny socks? <laughs> I found my old Nike Pegasus. <laughs> I don't know why they look so funny with these socks, but whatever. Uh, I found these bad boys. Also, one of the best purchases I ever made were these. Um, I can link them on Amazon. And I never bought any of these for, cause then you don't have to tie your shoes. You can tighten them, loosen them, it's incredible. But I never bought any for my Hoka's cause they're, those shoes, I'll pop a picture on the screen of them. They have orange laces. I, I loved the orange laces, but it was just so cool. So I need to look, I have a feeling they sell these in bright colors. Maybe I could just get bright orange and then, cause this, this is a game changer. Those darn Hoka's get untied all the time. Okay, I'm out of breath. Our messy, messy pantry. We have like a hundred different kinds of peanut butter and stuff, it's ridiculous. Here we go. So um, to update you guys on the pre-workout that I mentioned in, I, I wanna say my last vlog, I've been using it ever since then. I went up from the half scoop to about a full scoop and that I finally started to feel a little bit of the tingle. 
Um, so that's kind of where I'm lingering at. One full scoop, even though it says two. Uh, but a half scoop, I just feel like I noticed a slight difference, but I was like, I feel like it, I should be feeling more. Like it, there's a reason people use pre-workout. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that. The problem is I never remember to do it like, I'm always doing it like right before and I'm obviously you're supposed to do it before the workout, but I think you're supposed to have like a beat to like let it sink in, to like not have like a belly full of water as well. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm. we're gonna keep trying it. I feel like my workouts have been pretty good. We just got this out of the washer and it's hot. <laughs> it was still drying, so now I'm gonna have like weirdly hot. Um, but the one thing I have been doing is stretching while I drink this, so there's at least that. It's kind of forcing me to stretch, which before runs I always do because it has helped. I know, I know. Um, it has helped me a lot when it comes to like hip pain and knee pain and stuff. There's a big difference between when I actually stretch before and after and when I don't. So anyway, but it's nice because this gives me, you know, another excuse to actually take the time to stretch. Oh my gosh. Plus this flavor, Hawaiian Breeze, it is so good. Like it's just good. <laughs> Uh, I was reminded of how much I miss the old Nike Pegasus, the new one. If you recall, I bought the new Pegasus line. Um, and if you didn't know, it's one of Nike's running shoes. Anyway, and they were not the same. Like they had totally changed so many things and it was like, it literally hurt to run in them. So I was like, okay, never mind. So that's why I swerved and went to the Hoka and I love those too. Um, I just miss these old ones. These were actually totally awesome to run in. So I might. These were ones I thought about getting rid of, and I'm like, maybe I'll keep them just like down in our workout room for exactly this occasion. <laughs> anyway, the workout was good, by the way. Had to go to the corner store to get the goods. We were all craving ice cream, so here we are. <laughs> well, good morning. So Gigi and I are having a morning time tea party with this little set, and it's actually the brand Heritage sent it like as PR, and so we've got, you wait till you see Gigi. She's wearing every hair thing they sent. We just threw it in, we're in our jammies. Anyway, we are excited because I've been promising her since before the cruise that we would do this little tea party. So we're doing it. She's wearing all of the hair accessories. We can link some of these below. Obviously these are, I'm assuming they're new launches. Oh my gosh. We feel like we're playing pretty, pretty princess. So that was so sweet, but I'm excited about these bad boys. And we really did make some tea. There's some actual tea in there. We've got our fancy lady gloves on and our tea and but these I get one cookies. Too. You, yeah, the gloves were a little big for her, so she, she was getting a little frustrated, so. And these are good. I know these have been around for forever. I don't know that I've ever had them. I love shortbread. <sighs> have I ever told you guys the story of this ship there? So we were in Rhode Island visiting my brother when he lived out there. And this was not that long ago. And Tyler saw this, this ship in this shop and was like, I have to have it. And Newport, Rhode Island is where he lived or right near. And so very much like sailboats everywhere. Like that's the vibe. And so Tyler had to have it. And I said, Tyler, where are we going to put that? Like where? And he's like, I'll bring it to work. And so right now, because we don't have the separate workspace, <laughs> there it lives. <laughs> I'm always moving it out of the shot if I'm filming in here. And I put it on his nightstand where it is totally in the way. Anyway, it's one of those things that we'll probably have for the rest of our lives. And I'm burying him with it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it's kind of cool. Also, we need to do laundry. So I just finished um, filming a brand deal, like Instagram story for a makeup brand that I'm super excited to be working with. And yeah, so that's what you're seeing. I can link the products below that I'm using. Although by the time you're seeing this, that, well, I guess the Instagram story could be gone by then but anyway yeah well I might as well tell you this is not sponsored but Kosas is having that's who the brand is I guess I don't know why I'm acting like it's some big secret um they're having their summer sale till June 20th so if this is going up before them which I think it is um I'll link the few products that are my favorites because 20% off is a nice chunk okay that's all shameless plug for that because um it is actually a really cool sale so um I we well Tyler and I are going on a date tonight we still have our season tickets for like the Broadway tour thing for our town and this is the last one from this past season so we're going to dinner and doing that and uncle jason is coming over to watch the girls here and they are so excited so i'm very excited for a nice date night with my hubby because we had the cruise and of course it was with the kids and it was so fun but we could definitely use like some alone time <laughs>
just adult like alone time. <laughs> It has been a week. I'm gonna talk about it in a little bit. Something I'm kind of not struggling with, like it's just a part of being a parent, but I wanna chat with you guys about, cause I know a lot of you guys will understand where we're at right now, but we'll get to that in a minute. I wanted to share my Thrive Market grocery haul. So this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. I'm so excited to keep working with them. So thank you Thrive for supporting my channel in that way. So I got some new stuff and I'm gonna be honest, I'm real hungry. <laughs> the day I'm filming this is Tyler's birthday. And so we're planning to go out to lunch here in a minute. So I don't wanna snack too much, but I'm gonna be snacking on at least a few things. <laughs> but if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based grocery store. We use it because we save a lot of money on this order alone. I saved, I'll pop on the screen, nearly $45 based off of what I would have spent at like a retail store. And a lot of these things are favorites of ours that are staples, whether it's snacks, pantry, staples that we use all the time, things that we cook with, etc. Coffee, coffee's a big one. <laughs> so we love it. We order usually twice a month from them. And the thing we really like about it is that orders over $49 shipped for free. So we've, I don't think ever paid for shipping, which is awesome. Oh, the other thing I consistently get from them is like prebiotic sodas. Poppy is my favorite brand of them currently. So this is the watermelon flavor. This is the flavor I thought I wouldn't like cause I don't really like watermelon, nor do I really like watermelon flavored things. No, <laughs> this is good. I, <laughs> it is really good. So I'm so excited to have more of that. But then my other favorite is the strawberry lemon flavor. So kind of stocked up at least for a little bit on that. I don't drink those every single day. I, I think I could, I just, I don't know. I feel like it's too much, but I really, really like them. But I got another kind. So this is sparkling water. Okay, so it's not like prebiotic, but it's the brand Sound. I thought the like aesthetic of this was really pretty. So it's sparkling water with tea and botanicals, grapefruit, lavender, and ginger tea. We're gonna try this one right now because that just sounds good. Ooh, it smells kind of citrusy. Interesting. It reminds me of like Pamplemousse flavor, but with a slight hint of tea. Hmm. And there's definitely a kick of ginger. It's not sweet at all, of course, but it's not bad. I like the aftertaste of it. And I feel like a lot of like the aftertaste for things like sparkling waters can be weird. That one actually is nice. So hmm. I promise I'll move on from drinks soon. So this is the Rise Brewing Co. Original Black nitro cold brew coffee this is for tyler i like this too but this is totally for him because he always complains that a lot of these kinds of canned coffees anywhere we look are flavored or they have milk in them and he just wants them black so when i saw these on thrive market i was like oh he's gonna be excited <laughs> happy birthday baby so some like cooking and baking staples that we tend to buy on thrive market because we save so much money especially on olive oil so this is the thrive market Organic extra virgin olive oil. We fly through this. So I'm always glad to get crazy deals on this um, and to get decent olive oil from the grocery store. It gets really pricey really fast. So I love this stuff. And then Tyler is a flour snob. He's the baker of our family. So I know a lot of you guys know that you're like, please, Jessica, we know <laughs> he likes to bake bread. <laughs> anyway, this is the King Arthur Baking Co. Organic all purpose flour. We love saving money on that. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's get into the snacks, all right? This looked so good to me. It is the pea toes crunchy onion rings. Please let these be like Funyuns. I couldn't tell you the last time I had a Funyun. Oh, they smell so good. My mouth is literally watering. <laughs> yeah, they taste like Funyuns. Oh my gosh. A jam of junk food taste that's plant-based. Four grams of protein, three grams of fiber. Okay. I am a total salty snack baby. I don't even know what to <laughs> Yeah, I would write, if you like Funyuns and you like sign up for a Thrive Market account, maybe you already have one, I know a lot of you guys do, and you ask about favorites, even though this is a new try, add this to your cart, just if you like Funyuns. Oh man, that that's like, that was top five, I think, salty snacks I've tried on Thrive right there. Okay, speaking of top like favorite sweet things I've gotten on Thrive Market, I buy these constantly. It's the Siete brand Mexican wedding cookies. Oh, these are so good. Oh my gosh, they are so good. They have the crunch, but then they're still super sweet. Like these satisfy my sweet tooth. I love them so much. And then this is something I thought Tyler might like, the Crunchsters 
tangy balsamic crunchy mung beans. I can't hear mung beans and not think of The Office when Creed says, oh, I know what that smell is. I sprout mung beans in my desk drawer. They're incredibly delicious. Or no, what does he say? They're incredibly nutritious, but they smell like death. <laughs> ah, I love that show. Okay, we've been out of these. We honestly, it's now summer. I buy these a lot more during the school year. Having the separate bags is just so easy. Um, but it's the Annie's Organic Cheddar Bunnies little bags. If we're out at a park, that's nice to kind of be able to grab quickly for them too. And then I also got some pasta. This is the Brahmi Fusili. It is made with semolina flour and lupini beans. And I thought that was just kind of cool. I've had a lupini bean dip, like a hummus-like dip, and it was really good. So I have, I have high hopes. All right, I won't dwell on them. We always stock up on our Noka little pouches. I've gotten questions to show what they actually look like. They look like this. So it's literally like you would give a kid, like we have tons of pouches for my kids, but um, it's for grownups. I mean, I guess you could give it to your kids, but it's it's for grownups, it really is. So um, we have the strawberry banana flavor. We have the super berry. I have not tried a flavor I don't like, I'm being honest. I've tried all of them <laughs> multiple times. Tyler loves those too, for the record. We got the Thrive Market organic fruit circles, little snacks for the girls, different flavors. I like these because if I remember right, yeah, there's like three ingredients in it, which is awesome. I always, always, always get coffee. This is whole bean. It's their organic coffee blonde roast. I like the blonde roast and the breakfast blend I like as well. I, I mean, there haven't been a lot of coffees I've tried from them that are bad. Definitely cost effective to get the Thrive Market brand if you're looking for that. My thing is it's really hard to find organic whole bean coffee and they have a lot of selection, which is huge. And then I got for the girls, these low, well, probably Felicity, but for both, these low puffs veggie blend. I thought that was kind of cool. And I've tried a lot from this lesser evil brand and it's pretty good. And then I got this for Tyler and I to try. It's the single serve coffee black, um, pour over, right? Yeah, so you tear the little sachet, you hang it on your cup, and then you pour hot water, that's it. And it makes a single cup of pour over coffee, if you will. I thought that just seemed really cool. So we're gonna try that. I think Tyler would be excited to try that too. We're back to him. <laughs> I should have gotten too bad. Oh my gosh. So another thing I mentioned that they have like a pretty big selection for specific items you might be looking for, but I love that if you eat a certain way, um, by choice or because you have to, whatever. There's gluten-free, keto, paleo, non-GMO, organic. Like you can organize and shop the way you're looking. I remember my sister for a while was eating Whole30 for like medical reasons. And she loved going on there. She was able to find so many things by just searching it by Whole30. And if you've ever done Whole30, it is hard to find Whole30 approved items. So that was huge for her too. So I really, really like how easy it is to navigate. I love that we always save money. So if you are interested in trying Thrive Market, they have two different membership models. They have the month to month membership, which is $12 a month. And then they have the annual membership, which is $5 a month. It's billed annually at like $59.95 but it breaks down to $5 a month. That's what we've done for years. And what's cool, you will definitely make back your membership fee. Like in this order alone, I, I saved $45. But if for some reason you don't, they will credit you back the difference, which I think is really cool. So definitely a good time to check it out because right now, if you join Thrive Market today, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 by going to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll have the link right at the top. You can't miss it. So if you want to check it out, whether you check it out right now. I'll mention it again at the end of the video if you need a reminder, but I love it. So many people in our lives use this as well, unprompted from us, which is just cool. Thrive Market, I feel like is everywhere, um, but for good reason. It's nice to save money and get maybe more high quality, healthier ingredients, cleaner stuff, whatever it is you're looking for. Um, we just really like it. So thank you Thrive Market for sponsoring this part of the video. Now we're going to go to lunch, but... <laughs> I am gonna eat a few more of these. I'm way too hungry, you guys. I haven't put the groceries away yet, but um, so yeah, what I was referencing earlier, I just feel like right now, Felicity is at an age and it's it's wild because, well, let me just tell you, she's at an age where she's teething. That's, that's nothing new. They teeth for so long, but right now she has two teeth, two upper molars coming in. And I was looking at them this morning and I'm like, oh my gosh, she has such a long way to go before they fully break in. And I'm like, oh, so she's in so much pain. She has like, I think two more teeth coming in in the front. I know one there and I want to say I saw another. She has so many teeth coming in. So she has no appetite. And so she's just like stuffy and snotty and it, it, there's just so much going on. And so she's sleeping terribly, which means of course, 
we're sleeping terribly. You know when you're tired, it's, it harkens back to like the newborn stage where you're so tired. You think like, oh my gosh, like is life ever gonna, like I can't, this morning I was with her for a few hours, like getting her breakfast and getting her dressed and just keeping her occupied and I'm trying to get some dishes done. I'm trying to just take a sip of coffee. Today's Tyler's birthday, so I was like hoping to make him breakfast in bed and that did not happen. And I feel so lucky because Genevieve is at the age where she wants to help and she's such a little helper. And I feel for you guys that if you have more than one kid and they're close in age, I don't know how you did it. I genuinely, hats off to you, that is incredible. It had to have been hard because when they're farther apart in age, like with Genevieve being five, she's kind of at that, you know, wanting to be responsible stage. And so she's there to help. Like, it's so sweet. And she'll look at me like this morning, she looked at me and said, mom, Felicity is in a bad mood. I was like, yeah, honey, she is. But it's just, it's cute that she's like commiserating with me. And so I feel very lucky. I, like I'm happy with their age gap. Like that just worked out the way it worked out. But yeah, it's just been trying the past week and I just want her to feel better. And I think that's part of what makes me so sad for her is I'm like, she has no appetite. Like I can't get her to eat much and that's, so she feels hungry. So we're giving her bottles, like just trying to fill her up. Um, and then she's not sleeping well, so she's always tired. And so it's just been such a rough combo. I just feel so bad for her. And But there's nothing really, you know, beyond the obvious, there's not much I can do. So it just is what it is. I'm just praying that this time passed quickly for that sweet little girl. I know I'm making this sound so dramatic. I know, I know, I know. But I just wanted to share because it's what's been on my mind today. We just both feel very drained. And so the weekend's around the corner. Obviously, it starts tomorrow. So we're hoping we're having a little birthday party for Miss Gigi tomorrow with... Tyler's side of the family here at our house. We were gonna go to a park and do it there, but um, we just decided it was just a lot of work with Felicity at the age she's at and if her nap didn't work out right, so it's kind of nice just to be home, but we've got some decor we're gonna put up. She wanted a, a Paw Patrol birthday, which no surprise there. I wanna say we did Paw Patrol last year. I don't think we did though, it might've been rainbow. She just always wants rainbow. So it always ends up being a rainbow unicorn party. Um, but this time she wanted sky and Paw Patrol. So I got some stuff for that. So we're going to do that. I might share bits of the weekend of like the tacos and stuff. Um, we're doing like a taco bar, which I think is going to be fun here. And I might try to make the dessert for her. We'll see. <laughs> it's a recipe I found online for Reese's peanut butter cupcakes and they look really good. So yeah, we'll see. But like I said, I might share some bits of the weekend so you can just get a peek at it. But yeah, that's all. Thanks for letting me vent. <laughs> Off to lunch for real, I'm sorry. Procured some coffee and we're at one of our favorite stores really quickly and we might get these like really thick, thick rubber spatulas, but they're like heavy. They're so nice. I'm like, for all of our nonstick pans we use a ton, I will probably use these daily. So I'm super excited. I, I wish you guys could feel how like weirdly high quality <laughs> these feel. Okay, you guys. Well, we did a little more damage at Sur La Table. Um, we needed a new, you guys are gonna giggle at this little kitchen hall. We needed a new splatter screen. <laughs> Spata. Spata. Um, Cause the one we got was like super cheap and the handle is on the top of it. And it's real small. I think we got it at I Ikea years ago. And you have to like get your hand all burned and oily just to like lift it up. I always use tongs to grab it and pull it well, off. Well, that's smart. I just burn my fingers off. So we've been dealing with that for years. So this is an OXO one that has like an actual handle, but then the handle folds in, and feels heavy duty. Safe. Yeah, dishwasher safe, baby. And then this is the most exciting purchase. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, Tyler, we're getting it. This food scoop. So for me, and Tyler does the same thing. We'll like, you know, cut our veggies, whatever onions on the cutting board, of course, and then you transfer it. And we do that on the kitchen island and then the stove is behind us. And so to transfer the food into the pan, we usually will use, like we have like some flat edge things that we can use. But for me, Tyler says he doesn't have this problem. I do where I'll do it and try to lift it and onions will fall off the side. And so every time there's onions scraper, all over the floor. Cause the bench scraper. That's like, what I use. Yeah. But I, I, have, I always have I giant piles. Okay, well, I use two. I use the scraper and then the like dough scraper together. Oh. And I still get it everywhere. Point is, it always falls off the sides and this one has little sides on it. So when I scoop the food in it, it shouldn't fall all over the place and then I can dump it in the pan. I can't wait. This was an impulse like checkout purchase. Similar idea, but it's a sheet pan scoop, which I mean, obviously you could literally use this for anything, but we roast like sweet potatoes and veggies 
multiple times a week. And same thing, I always use like a big old spatula and it always falls off the side and it makes me mad. This one has little bits of sides. So I can't wait. I told Tyler, thank you for all my birthday gifts. Well, like I said, if that doesn't work out, if you don't like it, then Gigi can use it in the, the sand table. So it's good. There we go. <laughs> and then we got a new whisk because the whisk we have is not great. It's and whiskey business. It's very whiskey business. But it has like a third of the amount of like whisk parts in it. Does that make sense? <laughs> right? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so that's all. That's our little. And then we did get those two um, things I showed you guys at the beginning. I love that store. It's dangerous. It's a it dangerous is. Store. We did a cooking class there uh, a year ago. Mm -hmm. And it was French. It was a gift you got me, right? Mm -hmm. That was one of my favorite memories. Yeah, it was pregnant fun. with Miss Felicity and we, it was like the best food I've ever tasted. We made good. it, it was mm -hmm. so cool. Okay. <laughs> We're, it's, it's, okay, it's the end of the day Friday. We're trying to decorate for the birthday party tomorrow. We got this whole like set of stuff here from Amazon. It's like Paw Patrol, it was like a whole thing. And Tyler was working on doing like a <laughs> banner, which we haven't evened out yet. And we're like, oh, it's cute. It's just like the pups, you know, just hanging it up. It's like pup hats. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Jess, why don't I just split them in half? We can do some over there and some over there. And I got hung up. I strung it all through. And I was just about to space them apart. And I was like, Jessica, they're letters. They spell out happy birthday. <laughs> Didn't even cross my mind. I was like, oh, they're just Paw Patrol hats. So we've got... Hide, yeah. Hi, oh, that works. I love it. You can really see it here. I was even, I was like, all right, so I want to make sure I have like one sky in that one. I want to make sure I have one rubble. Like some outside, I don't want two chases up there. But the real winner is the fact that we don't have cupcake liners that aren't Christmas, so it will all be Christmassy. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is the day of her little party. And we are, we've, Tyler fixed the happy birthday up there. There it is. Um, we've got pin the, pin the, not tail on the donkey, but pin the badge on Chase. And I'm about to make some guacamole and very excited. I feel like it's been a long time since I've made homemade guacamole. It is truly one of my favorite things in the universe. And so I'm excited to have it again. Cause like I said, it's been, I want to say years, I don't know, but I did finish up these bad boys. So obviously they have our little <laughs> things, but peanut butter frosting, Gigi and I made this morning, crushed up Reese's and then in the cupcakes, there's a little Reese in there to cut the sweetness. Cause I felt like it might tend to be like overly sweet. I ended up doing devil's food cake type cake mix you'll see what i mean you use a cake mix but it's not you don't follow the recipe you use it and do a bunch of other stuff so it still felt pretty homemade you'll if you follow the recipe you'll see what i mean i'll link it below i'll let you know if they're actually good though because we haven't tasted them yet anyway we did no sugar added peanut butter to cut some of the sugar because you add powdered sugar to it too and then like i said i did a different cake mix so we shall see but i'm very excited they smell really good too and one little tip we're gonna blow up a couple balloons um is if you have kids and like you like throwing little birthday parties for I mean I feel like most people do we pretty much always do keep it small and keep it here the first birthday party we usually do big um like Felicity just had her first a few months ago so we invited a lot of people but then otherwise for subsequent birthdays while they're young we just keep it family but obviously as she gets older and wants friends to come over it will morph and change but one of my biggest tips to save money if you want to decorate is to just buy bulk packs of like different colored balloons and different colored streamers because no matter what the theme may be each year you can find colors like i literally ordered a rainbow pack of streamers so i have every color and a rainbow pack of balloons and we just keep it with our party stuff and so for this one she wants it to be sky which she's like the pink colored dog if you will so we'll use pink balloons and white and purple so it's just nice because you always have that like reserve base of decorations and then you can get fun little things on the side. But once I discovered doing that like last year, I was like, oh my gosh. Cause I, I felt like I was constantly like, oh, and I want to buy some streamers or I want to buy balloons. So I had to keep buying different colors and 
it's been really nice. It's just kind of streamlined it. So I feel like that's a weird tip to share, but it might be really helpful to some of you. So there you go. <laughs> I can link the like exact packs I bought because I felt like it was a really good deal on Amazon for what I got. I'll link if, if you're curious, the two of you that are wanting it. <laughs> All right, we're like halfway there. We still have a little while before people get here. So I'm gonna wrap these and put them in the fridge, but it's nice to have these prepped. My guacamole, you guys. I would share the recipe, but it is like a secret. <laughs> family one that I'm like, I can't share. <laughs> it's so good. I wish you guys could try, but it's just one of those things. One of the few things I can't share, but I mean, there's a million guacamole Sorry, recipes. Jesus. I'm like, yeah, Tyler's cheesecake mm -hmm. secret recipe. So I'm going to put these in the fridge. Um, we'll have like tortillas and some like hard shell. We'll have obviously the meat and some beans out. We're going to make a little mac and cheese for the kids as well. And it's pretty much that. It was kind of nice and simple. It was a lot more low stress than I feel like past get togethers we've had, which has been very nice. Well, good morning. Tyler got up early to work out and brought home Smoothie King. <laughs> so that was exciting. Um, this time I tried like the slim and trim strawberry and added spinach. It's pretty good. I mean, you can definitely taste that it's like, I don't know what kind of like protein powder, whatever it is they put in it, but you can taste that it's got, I don't know, stevia or something. So not quite as good as the others. I don't know if I'll get it again, but anyway, I didn't even know that there was like a slim and trim line. So um, I am actually uploading the footage for this vlog <laughs> uh, right now before I get started with my day. So I wanted to end it properly. So um, to update you on the cupcakes from the birthday party, they were pretty good. I think I might've cut out too much sugar. <laughs> I feel like the frosting was good, but I did the devil's food cake um, for the base cake mix, but you add other stuff to it according to the recipe. And it, it was genuinely like not enough sweet for me, which is weird because I don't know. Anyway, it's one of those that I feel like it was good, but I don't know that I need to make again. But if you really like Reese's, it might be worth looking into. Um, but on the recipe, a lot of the comments below said when you're making the frosting to do two sticks of butter and not one. So what is that? A full cup of butter? I don't know. Um, Definitely do that because it made the frosting really frosting-like. Apparently with only the one stick of butter, it just wouldn't spread or it wouldn't pipe on, whatever. So I did that and it the frosting was great. There were no issues with the frosting. So I thought it was pretty good. Every I think everyone liked it, but you know, you never know. <laughs> just saying it just to be nice. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for loving me and all my PJ glory. You know how I complained at the beginning of this video? Not complained, I vented to you guys about Felicity not sleeping. She has slept the past two nights all the way through. We both will wake up in the morning and be like, <laughs> like how, what? <laughs> I don't think we've gotten a full night's sleep in like a month and a half, two months, two days. So I'm not counting my chickens, but we have enjoyed the full night's sleep. It's been crazy. I'm I literally like midday when I usually should be really tired. I'm like, I feel so energized. What's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, so that has been amazing. I'm sure, you know, hills and valleys, like everything. Um, but thank you to Thrive Market, of course, for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you want to check out Thrive Market, I'll have the link right at the top of the description box. Of course, if you go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. I'll have the link right there. It's a good time to try it. Check it out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.